Alrighty. So this is going to be a reading for my Scorpios for August 2019. This is going to be a love check-in. Thank you guys so much for joining me back on my YouTube channel. We're going to go ahead and strictly talk about love today. And yes, guys, keep in mind this is a general reading. So everything I say in this reading may or may not resonate with you. Only take what does apply and let the rest fly. And if you do want a personal reading, this exact same spread, but just personally for you or a month ahead spread for the month of August, definitely check out my site. We have some really awesome sales over there for the month of August. So definitely make sure you guys head over there and see what's popping. Okay, so Scorpios for August 2019. What is going on with my Scorpios for August 2019 in love. What's going on, my Scorpio's love life? Scorpio's love life for August 2019. Scorpio's love life. Check in for Scorpio's love life. Okay. So your feelings for your person, your person's feelings for you, the obstacle or issue that may come up in love, your person's next set of actions towards you, the advice and the outcome. And give me one card for the guidance for my Scorpios for their love life for August. And give me two romance angel cards for the overall energy for what my Scorpios may experience in their love life for the month of August 2019. What's going on in my Scorpios love life? All right. So let's go ahead and get straight into the messages for this month. So let's talk about the Oracle cards first. The cards that we have here, we have free yourself. It says it is time to take back control of your life. Then we also have soulmate. It says, yes, this is a soulmate. So for a lot of you guys, you are dealing with a soulmate connection. Um, you could be mentally feeling trapped to this situation or mentally under these like, I don't know, illusions that may be keeping you trapped in a negative sense, not necessarily to this person. It may be you just trapped in this negative cycle of thinking. And with divine timing, I feel like things will be very clear to you as to what you should do when it comes to this relationship. For some of you guys, you will be taking things to the next level with someone, but you do need to make sure that you are opening up to this person and allowing yourself to be at ease with them. For some of you guys also, if you don't let go of control issues, there may be some like distance that may come into play. For some of you guys as well, there also may be distance when it comes to like you guys. This doesn't have to be like you living in one state and then this person living in another state. It could be that serious. For others of you, it could be just this person lives a good hour away from you or even like a good 30 minutes away. But with this, um, I just feel like there is this very like comforting stage between you and another person um, that's going on right now. And this is because of the fact that this person is someone that you have a past life relationship with or a soulmate connection with. It's just, I don't know if your mindset is allowing yourself to really open up though. That's what I'm saying. Or it could even be the person you're dealing with. If it's not you guys take this reading, how it applies. Um, another thing I am seeing as well, the, um, other card that we have here, let me actually pick it up. It says deep in your heart, you already know the answer. Do what feels right. So for a lot of you guys, you already know what is the right thing for you to do with this situation. Just make sure you're, you're listening to yourself and you're allowing yourself to, again, follow your own inner tuition. Okay. Alrighty. So let's go ahead and actually discuss the cards that we laid out for this spread. So the first card is representing your feelings for your person. I do have the four of pentacles with this. You could be feeling as if this person is a little closed off in their energy. You could be dealing with an earth sign. doesn't have to be, um, but you could be feeling like this person's a little closed off right now. Um, also for some of you guys, you could be like trying to save your money because of the fact that you may be feeling like you're not at the place financially where you want to be at. Within this relationship, yeah, there could be like some imbalances financially and you could be like having to save your finances for that. For others of you, you could be like 
again, either you or your partner's coming off this way, but somebody's coming off very, very closed off. And because of that, I feel like the relationship is imbalanced. And for some of you guys, you guys may be even having some regrets for, um, or not even regrets. Well, yeah, regrets from your past. For some of you guys, you may be having some regrets from your past and you could be even just like, kind of mentally thinking negatively about this new relationship because for a lot of you guys this is a newer person that's coming in um I'm not even talking about somebody from your past somebody from your past you may be still tied to that person emotionally but a newer situation you may be thinking very negatively about it uh due to the fact of what you've gone through in the past and I feel like you guys do need to make sure you're not doing that because you're going to miss out on these two cups right here and the two cups is representing a relationship literally now, when it comes to your person's feelings for you, I do have the judgment card. With this, they could be trying to make some final decisions about this relationship. Also with this, if this is somebody who um, you recently stopped talking to, this person may be trying to come back around here. Um, for some of you guys as well, they could be deciding that the situation is destined for like disaster. So they could be like, um, I don't know, coming off a certain way. But with the nine of pentacles in reverse, they could be like, I don't know, like really dependent on you. Like they don't want to be away from you, even though they feel like the situation isn't enough for them. It's like they don't want to be away from you, especially if you're dealing with an earth sign, Aries, what have you. Um, This person really just wants to take a leap of faith and start off fresh, especially if there was instability in the past within the relationship as well. Okay. Alrighty, so what I am seeing for the off-score issue that may come up in your love life for the month of August, I do have the Seven of Cups, clarified by the Page of Pentacles and the King of Wands. So with this, you could be a little emotionally confused as to what you want with possibly a fire sign, earth sign, whatever sign, to be honest. Some of you guys could actually have options. For others of you, it may not be options. It's just you're emotionally confused as to which direction you want to take it with somebody who you may be um, dealing with. Um, but I feel like, yeah, a lot of you guys are going to have to decide on what you want to do here within this situation. Um, and until you guys do, it's going to be kind of weird. <laughs> like the relationship is going to be kind of stagnant for some of you guys or just a little weird. Okay. Um, but what I am seeing for the Next set of actions your person is going to take towards you. I do have the death card with this. I feel like they are going to be kind of waiting on you to open up past the defensiveness for a relationship and then they'll be ready to move forward with you. But I feel like they're kind of like trying to see where things go with you more than anything. I don't feel like they're trying to rush into anything. They just feel like you may be a little defensive right now, or there may be things coming up against you guys getting into a relationship, whether that's other people or what but what I am seeing for the advice for you guys with the knight of pentacles you guys do really need to take things slow if you don't know which direction to go in I feel like you guys do need to um actually figure that out also with the two of swords here if you're dealing with somebody who's not trying to make up their mind about you I feel like you need to actually clear things up with this person and see if you guys are going to start a relationship or if you should just move on with your life but um I really feel like there is a need for you to clear the air with somebody but definitely take things slow with this person and not again rush into anything And what I am seeing for the outcome of your love life for the month of August, I do have the nine of swords with this. You could be having a level of anxiety when it comes to, again, an opportunity that you may want with somebody or more that you may want out of a situation with somebody. Um, and you could be like, I don't know, wanting to communicate with this person, even travel to go see them, but they may be taking a break on their own to really just focus on work. OK. But for a lot of you guys, I definitely see you guys are going to be dealing with somebody who you have a connection with. I just feel like there is a need for, again, um, negative thinking to go out the window and more of a focus on the future, not the past. 
So that's what I'm seeing. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope that I was able to give someone out there some sort of guidance or clarity when it comes to what to expect. If this did resonate, please make sure you like this video, comment below and subscribe. And again, if you do want a personal reading with me as far as the love check in for August or the August mid month, um, that will be listed below and I will talk to you guys later. Bye Scorpios.